What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you this simple guide allowing you to solo kill the Nightfall boss in literally less than 10 seconds. Really simple and really easy. But before we check that out people, to win my monthly custom controller giveaway, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details at the end of the video. Okay, so this week's Nightfall is the Inverted Spire. The exclusive item is the Exotic Ghost Shell, the Tritromatica, I believe it's pronounced, seen on screen now. So whether you want to farm this item or you just want to solo the Nightfall, this video is for you. Now this strat, like I said, uh, can be done solo, but if you want to team up people, you can literally kill the boss in under 5 seconds for sure, saving yourself all the fallen and running about with the different levels to this boss battle. Now today I will showcase two ways to do this, the first will be on a titan you will need to be using the hammer of soul subclass with the top skill tree selected so you have that hammer strike on also having on that rally barricade you also need to have a decent full auto shotgun the best for this is the icolus sg but the perfect paradox works well also now in reality the burn of your shotgun will need to be the burn you apply to your prestige nightfall card the five of swords it doesn't matter about your subclass being solar and your shotgun being void the subclass is used for the hammer strike only it still works just as well even if you use arc singe or void singe so the burn you select for your prestige nightfall card make sure it's whatever your shotgun burn is you also want to make sure you have that heavyweight on too then what you want to do is once you get to the nightfall boss stage you want to jump up onto the left where these harpies are which will drop heavy for you so if you fail killing him the first time it doesn't matter you can always wipe and get more heavy back really easy so you jump up on this left side make sure your melee and barricade are charged take out the three harpies and the boss will spawn in now you can literally start doing damage on him basically as soon as you see that white flash so don't wait around so once you kill the harpies quickly place down your rally barricade right next to where the boss comes in do a little lap activate your hammer strike jump and melee the boss and as soon as you do that obviously locating your barricade shown on the bottom left of your screen just pummel the boss with your shotty and he should die right away it really is that straightforward guys once you get this down simply collect that loot oh that also juicy loot the second way to do this is actually even easier and it's on a warlock. Here you need the lunification boots on and you need to be using the empowering rift as well as that full auto shotgun. Basically the same thing applies, jump up on the left, take out the harpies, make sure your rift is charged and you have that heavy ammo. So you take out the harpies, drop your empowering rift right next to where the boss comes in, stand in it, wait for the boss and destroy him with your shotgun. Now I have seen clips of people doing this on their warlocks with snipers such as the Icarus SR and the Darcy obviously with the correct burn selected they stand at the back of the room they take out the harpies drop their empowering rift and just snipe the heck out of the boss as soon as he spawns in pretty straightforward in many ways and in many sets it's even easier to do than the titan strat as it takes a little less timing the titan strat does take perfect timing but once you get it down you'll be great at it but yeah guys, this simple guide of soloing the inverted spire nightfall and killing the boss in a matter of seconds. Now if you were to do this in a fire team of 2 or 3, the boss wouldn't even have time to think. It will be over before he even knows it. So if you do want to farm it to try and get the gold shell in a fire team, do this and he will be dead in an instant. Obviously though if you leave it too long he will go immune and he will drop levels. And it can be a little bit hectic down below. So you want to kill him as soon as possible. But yeah guys, use this guide as you please. Massive shout out to my pal Will UK for recording these clips for me. I actually don't have a warlock and I don't have the Achilles SG shotgun. So massive shout out to him. You can show him some love by following him on Twitter which is linked within the video description. On that note guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really does help me out. And if you want to be in the chance of winning my monthly fully customizable controller giveaway, Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world, make sure you drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Obviously you have to be a sub to the channel and then you just click the Gleam link linked within the top of the video description. It's fast, simple and legit people. Good luck everybody who enters. On that note, I am out. Thanks again for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.